Give him his money and these notes, Rinaldo. I will, my lord. You shall do marvelously wisely, good Rinaldo, before you visit him, to make inquire of his behavior. My lord, I did intend it. Inquire me first what dancers are in Paris, and how and who, what means and where they keep, what company, at what expense, and finding by this encomp encompassment and drift of question that they do know my son, come you more near than your particular demands will touch it. Take you as twere some distant knowledge of him, as thus I know his father and his friends, and impart him. Aye, very well, my lord. And impart him, but you may say, not well. There put on him what forgeries you please. Marry, none so rank as may dishonor him. Take heed of that. But, sir, such wanton, wild, and unusual slips as our companions, noted and most known to youth and liberty. As gaming, my lord. Aye, or drinking, fencing, swearing, quarreling, drabbing, you may go so far. My lord, thou would dishonor him. Faith, no, as you may season it in the charge. You must not put another scandal on him, but breathe his, breathe his faults so quaintly that they may seem the taints of liberty, the flash and outbreak of a fiery mind, a savageness and unreclaimed blood of general assault. But, my good lord, wherefore should you do this? I, my lord, I would know that. Mary, sir, here's my drift. You laying these slight sullies on my son, as for a thing little soiled in the working. Mark you, your party in converse, you, him you would sound, Having ever seen in the predominant crimes the youth you breathe of guilty, be assured he closes with you in this consequence, good sir, or so, or friend, or gentleman, according to the phrase of the addition of man and country. Very good, my lord. And then, sir, does he this? He does by the mass. I was about to say something. Where did I leave? At closes in consequence, at friend or so, and gentleman. At closes in the consequence. I, Mary, he closes thus. I know the gentleman, and as you say, there was a gaming, or perchance, I saw him enter such a house of sale, a brothel, or so forth. See you now, your bait of falsehood takes this carp of truth, and thus do we of wisdom and of reach, with windlasses and with essays of bias, by indirections find directions out. So by my former lecture and advice shall you, my son. You have me, have you not? My lord, I have. God be with you. Fare you well. Good, my lord. Observe his inclination in yourself. He took me by the wrist, then goes he to the length of all his arm, and with his other hand thus over his brow, he falls to such a perusal of my face, long stayed he so, at last a little shaking of my, mine arm. He raised a sigh so piteous and profound, as it did seem to shatter all his bulk, and end his being. That done, he lets me go, and with his hand over his shoulder turned, he seemed to find his way without his eyes, for out of doors he went without their helps, and to the last, bended their life on me. Come, go with me, I will go seek the king. This is the very ecstasy of love, as oft as any passion under heaven that does afflict our natures. I am sorry. What, have you given him any hard words of late? No, my lord, but as you did command, I did repel his feeders and denied his access to me. That hath made him mad. I am sorry that with better head and judgment I had not quoted him. I feared he did but trifle and mean to wreck thee, but beshrew, beshrew my jealousy. By heaven it is as proper as our age to cast beyond ourselves and our opinions as is common for the younger sort to lack discretion. Come, go we to the king. This must be known, which, being kept close, might move. More grief to hide than hate to utter love. <laughs> 